In this video, we shall focus on the great mantra Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. We shall cover the following points related to this mantra. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya mantra is dedicated to Lord Vishnu. It is the foremost of Vaishnava mantras. Dhruva Maharaj had attained Lord Vishnu by chanting this mantra. The mantra literally means, I bow down to the Supreme Lord Vasudeva, another name of Lord Vishnu. Do not confuse Vasudeva with Vasudeva, the father of Lord Krishna. The Lord is known as Vasudeva, which means the son of Vasudeva. The mantra is also called the Dwadash Akshari Mantra since it contains 12 syllables. It is very dear to Lord Vishnu and can be chanted at any time of the day. Yet early morning time, 4.25 to 6 a.m. is most preferred for Vishnu Sadhana. There are innumerable benefits of chanting the Dwadash Akshari Mantra. Lord Vishnu, who is aware of one's desires, slowly fulfills them. Life shall be full of pleasant surprises. The divine vibrations of the mantra shall alter one's state of mind and increases happiness levels. Anxiety vanishes. One would then see life as it is without the lens of prefixed notions. The Lord personally fills one's food supplies and looks after one's family. One starts trusting nature and stops doubting. The Lord reveals the past, present and future to the seeker who depends on this mantra. If one's goal is self-realization, the mantra speeds up one's spiritual growth. Hence the mantra is ideal for mukti or liberation. Know that the mantra can be used to invoke both Lord Krishna and Lord Vishnu as they are of the same tattva or spiritual nature. The mantra eradicates untimely death, accidents and future misery. It rewrites one's destiny. Such is its power. One starts appearing more charming and benign. The Lord grants some of his own qualities to his devotee such as fame, bravery and beauty. One shall never take wrong decisions in life as Lord Vishnu personally directs one's decisions. One's perception about life takes a 360 degree turn. One's enemies turn friendly without one knowing the reason behind such a transformation. The strings of attachment to the material world shall loosen. The mantra burns all sins of the chanter and frees one from guilt and past life regression. We require your help in maintaining this channel. Please consider donating to our channel so that we can come up with inspiring videos that promote spirituality amongst the common masses. Lord Vishnu resides in Shira Sagar, which represents the water element. Hence the mantra activates the Swadishthana Chakra, whose presiding deity is Varuna, the lord of the water region. The chanter of the mantra shall not have water phobia. The Swadishthana Chakra is storehouse of lower tendencies and sexual desires. Hence, many yogis find it hard to raise their kundalini above this chakra. However, the mantra Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya opens the passage to higher consciousness, creative expression and higher thinking as it controls the Swadishthana Chakra. One becomes a master of words and speaks fluently. Since the chakra is situated in the stomach region, one is less likely to face stomach related issues. You can find the video How to Activate Swadishthana Chakra, Sacral Chakra Explained on our channel Interesting. The mantra heals deep scars of the past which refuse to heal ordinarily. It clears the overall aura of an individual and does not allow the past to dictate the present. Every moment shall have a new message. Thus, it clears the dross of the heart and adds freshness to life. Now I shall share a very confidential sadhana in order to please Lord Vishnu. One should sit on a chanting mat. Then keep a photo of Lord Vishnu in front. You can choose any form of Lord Vishnu of your liking. It can either be Garbodagasai Vishnu, the Lord resting on the snake bed, or Shirodagasai Vishnu, the Paramatma form of the Lord. You can start by chanting two rounds daily. While chanting, contemplate on the form of the Lord and try to imprint it on the screen of your mind. Then look 
at the photo and again close your eyes and try to recollect the image of the Lord. Repeat this process till your chanting ends. This process that I have recommended to you is very confidential. It shall clear a lot of karma and shall definitely yield very fast results. After completion of the sadhana, Lord Vishnu who is seated within the heart of every soul shall fulfill all desires of the seeker. However, I recommend Niswartha sadhana or sadhana which is done without any expectations. Only such a mindset shall please the Lord. The Lord shall then manifest even faster if one's intention is to attain Him. I have tried this process myself and it works wonders. The sadhana shall purify the mind very quickly. This I guarantee. Now I shall describe an advanced variation of the sadhana. Know that Lord Vishnu is the embodiment of beauty. While visualizing, dwell on every feature of the Lord, especially His feet. As your visualization deepens, feel the touch, fragrance and beauty of His feet. Note that one shall reach this state only after prolonged practice. Believe that this experience is real because thinking of the Lord can never be imagination. Our own thoughts about the Lord and the Lord Himself are non-different. According to Vaishnava text, His name, form, abode and qualities are one. Smarana is one of the nine forms of devotion or Navadha Bhakti. The sadhana that I have just mentioned is the application of Smarana. As the practice matures, you shall realize the impermanence of the material world. Finally, at the fusion of the sadhana, the material world shall slowly lose its grip on you and you shall reach the spiritual world. I cannot guarantee the time frame of when this shall actually manifest since it depends on your own effort and sincerity. The Lord shall choose the special one. However, this should be a daily sadhana. If there are time restraints, one can choose a time frame of 9 days, 41 days and so on. Lord Vishnu is very merciful, yet very selective. At the beginning, he shall test his devotee. He shall see whether one is punctual and determined. Truly, the sadhana shall not be as easy as it seems. Many obstacles shall come. Only the steadfast one shall finally succeed in pleasing the Lord. Thereafter, the Lord shall take away all his problems and make the sadhaka his own.